What is going on YouTube? CJ3K Tech here, and I was sitting in my little gamer space playing a little Warzone. Shameless plug if you're not already following your boy CJ3K Gaming on Facebook Gaming. I'll leave the link like, like right there somewhere. Anyway, I was sitting playing Warzone and I thought, hey, it's Thanksgiving. So for one, happy Thanksgiving. Two, if you don't celebrate Thanksgiving, happy Thursday or whatever day you find yourself watching this video. A ton of people have been dropping comments saying, hey, this does not work, it's broken. Hey, can you make an updated video? Hey, can you make a video where you don't mess up on? So, I am here to present you with a new shortcut video on how you can mass text over 100 of your friends or however many friends you have and just pretty much send them, you know, maybe happy Thanksgiving, happy holidays, Merry Christmas, all that good stuff. So let's go ahead and jump in. Oh yeah, I'm sitting in my, my gamer space. Kind of looks bad. Hopefully I can fix it in post. Um, also though, just shameless, another, another shameless plug while we're here. Uh, green screen? No, no, no. All you need is poster board, poster paper from the Dollar Tree. It's like 69 cents a package. And you too can make your own green screen that works or doesn't should work. I've already pre-built the shortcut so that there would be no errors and I am simply going to go through things with you and uh, and yeah, show you how it's done. All right, so first thing we're gonna do is in the top right hand corner once you get shortcuts open, we're gonna click on that plus. That'll start a new shortcut. Create a shortcut to actions you do in your apps every day. First thing you do is click add action. From there, you can start typing in contacts. And then the first action we're gonna use is find contacts. That's pretty much, we're gonna give it some filters and parameters for it to sort through our contacts and give us or return a specific amount of contacts. I personally like groups. That's the easiest way for me to do it because the shortcut does not change whether you add or subtract people from that group. It will literally find anyone in that group and send a message. There are, of course, other um, other options you can do. So for the filters, you can do group, first name, middle name, last name, phone number, all this stuff has photo, has no photo, even notes. So if you wanted to put like a note, it just says Thanksgiving or whatever the holiday is or, or text or text these people or whatever. Whatever you do, it's your world. You can go ahead and do that. I personally am going to use groups. So I have a group called Holiday Text Group. So pretty much what's happening right now is this first action will find all contacts where the group of that contacts is listed as holiday text group. If you're wondering about setting up groups, um, it really depends on who you're using to store your contacts. If you're using iCloud, easiest way is there's a groups app. I'll try to link that below in the description. Also, you can go to iCloud.com from a desktop or laptop computer, click on contacts, search your contacts that way. Google has the same thing on Gmail, but uh, I don't have all the answers, so that's up to you to figure out how to manipulate groups for your contacts. Anyway, so if I were to run this with one step, it's gonna find every contact where the group was holiday text. So if I go ahead and just hit play at the bottom right and run that, you will see. It's got Ryan Bassetti, shout out Ryan, one of two, 173 contacts. So pretty much if I go in here, it's gonna show me 173 contact cards for all these people. Fine, neither here nor there. Anyway, next thing we wanna do is we want to, oops, we wanna click search for apps and actions and we wanna do repeat. And then we're gonna do repeat with each. What that pretty much is, is find all contacts where a group is holiday text, which is 173 like we talked about a second ago. What it will then do is repeat this action with each item in that essentially list of 173 contacts. So what do we want to do? We want to send message. Oops. And then we can drop that right, slide that right in between. So it's going to send the person's name to recipients. Mm, that's not quite what we want. So we're gonna press and hold on repeat item. We'll do clear. We'll press and hold on recipients. This is kind of stubborn the first time I did it. So you might do it, yeah, you might do it twice. And for recipients, we want that to be repeat item because like I said, we're repeating with each item 
in our table, our list. And our list is a list of contacts. So we want to repeat with each item. So Ryan was our first guy. So when we click this, it's going to send nothing to Ryan. Send nothing to the second person. And so on and so forth till we get to 173. So here's where the magic comes in. And actually, I'm going to recommend you do it this way. We'll go to search for apps and actions. We're going to do text. We'll click and hold text and we'll drag that right there. Now, if you didn't click and hold and you just added text, you would have to click and hold. It's going to add to the bottom. You have to click and hold and drag it up to text. Here is where the magic happens. Text is where we're gonna put our salutations for whatever the mass event is. And of course, this is not restricted to holidays. If you wanna spam people, like I may spam them about making sure to follow your boy on Facebook gaming. Second shameless plug of the day, I'm on a roll. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna say, hey, let's make it a little personal. So maybe you want it to have their name, maybe you don't. This is, this is your choice, just giving you an option. You could say, hey, and then we're gonna do repeat item just to give you a hint, repeat item is going to be like an item in your list. Repeat index is going to be how far you on you are in the list. So I could say, hey, Ryan, you are the repeat index person I'm texting for Thanksgiving, which is probably, you know, not the brightest thing to do, but it would count up from one to 173. Sometimes that use, that's useful if your shortcut is doing like math, but that's that's another video for another time. So we're gonna do hey, and I, I wanna say Ryan's first name. So I'm gonna do hey, I'm gonna click repeat item. And you see that automatically pops up as repeat item is shown as a contact. So you get to choose what part of that contact card you want to refer to in this particular variable, which our case, we don't want the full name. We wanna say hi, Corey Beverly. No one do that at all. That sounds insanely informal. So we wanna do, or insanely formal. We wanna do first name. So it's gonna put repeat item as contact, get first name. So you see it even changes to hey first name. So hey first name, I am making a shortcut video for the holiday season 2020. So you are included in my happy Thanksgiving text. Seriously though. Happy Thanksgiving. You can throw an emoji in there, some nerdy glasses thing. Where's my glasses? That's like one of my favorite emojis. So much so, there it is right there. All right, so then we're done. So then the only thing we have to do is you see it says send message and message is kind of grayed out. We wanna change that to text. So you see, Apple is a little smart about what kind of variables you stick in there. So of course it's gonna show you the variables you already have. We can click text or we can click this little magic wand, which is considered a magic variable, where we can select that. And you see, contacts, text, you can click text there. And it says, send text to repeat item. So if I click on show more, show and run is going to manually require you to send that text. So it will populate the text. And I guess I could probably show it to you. Let's do this. Let's do play. Da da da. And you see, hey, Ryan, I'm making a shortcut video for the holiday season, so you're including my happy Thanksgiving text. Seriously, the happy Thanksgiving. And then <clears throat> it normally would go through and text everybody, and you'd have to hit send, 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 send. That's no fun. So, what we're going to do, we are going to uncheck show and run. And once we click run, that's literally going to just go. I personally like to avoid Apple spamming me. So I like to add a wait in there to just pretty much wait hmm, two or three seconds before sending a text message. And realistically, if you're not an overachiever, congratulations, you've just built a shortcut to mass text all your friends. So let's go ahead, we'll go next so we can save this shortcut. And we'll name it Holiday. 2020 mass, mass text. If you wanna get creative, you can click on the glyph and you can change the color. 
Make a little fall festive. They got objects, they got people, they got symbols. Anything that looks like food. There we go, there's some food. That, that's not food, maybe that's food. That looks like food, who knows, whatever. It's food today. Click done, click done. And look, right at the top, we have our holiday mass text, which you can normally click on by just clicking on it. Or I wanna click on these three dots to open back up our text, just so you can see it kind of running. And that realistically is it. So you guys ready? Here we go. I'm gonna run it. Mm -hmm. See, waits three seconds. Waits three seconds. Waits three seconds. And if I were to have another device, well, that's gone, hold on. Whoopsies, and we're still just texting away. But if I were to open up my iPad, but as you can see, if you go and take a look, my iPad is just currently mass texting people. See, there's Tushan and Lance and Tim and Jonathan and Jordan every three seconds and Jocelyn and see, <clears throat> there it goes. So there is your up to date information. And like I said, it does not have to be limited to holiday text. Of course, uh, you could spam them with links, sign up for some marketing scam or scheme, sorry, scheme, scheme you're working on, um, invite them to a baby shower, whatever you wanna do. So I hope you liked this video. If you did, make sure to smash that like button. If you hated it, I mean, you know, that's, that's a thing. I'm your boy, CJ3K Tech. There'll be more videos coming soon and I'll catch you guys later. Peace.